I'm a dad. And I'm I've a dad. dad. And I've got dad, Bob. And, and I'm, I'm on, on my mission, mission to get, to get a, a six pack. And it's time to start over. All right, so let's get real here. I've had a lot of setbacks these last 12 weeks. And honestly, I've gotten some progress, but it's not the progress I wanted to see. And that's why it's time to restart. That's why it's time to dial in. And that's why I have 10 more weeks to get this six pack. And if I don't get this six pack in 10 weeks, I mean, I'll probably still keep going to get the six pack, but I don't know, leave a comment down below. You think what I should do if I don't get the six pack in 10 weeks. Now, over the next 10 weeks, my goal is to lose one to two pounds a week. And to do that, I've set my caloric deficit to around 2,100 calories per day. At the same time, I need to work out five times per week minimum. This is because I need to be more active. If I wanna have a six pack, I have to be living the lifestyle of a person with a six pack. Now this is easier said than done, but life isn't easy, so why do I expect this to be easy? It's currently the holiday season. We're talking Thanksgiving and then Christmas. That involves a lot of food, so my caloric deficit is gonna be a big challenge. At the same time, it's winter season, which means it's gonna be cold and it's gonna be harder to run outside. And there's gonna be a lot more excuses I have to overcome. And on top of all of that, I'm a dad and I'm still trying to figure out all this shit. I think my son's up. Well, I actually need to go to sleep, it's very late and my son is moving around a lot, so I'm probably gonna be up early in the morning, so might as well go to the clip of where I weigh myself in to start off this new 10 week challenge. All right, so it's Sunday the 20 something and time for me to weigh in, I think it's been Maybe a week since I weighed in last time. Who knows? Don't remember the date that I weighed in. I'll take off this hoodie and the glasses, but let's see what we get. Oh, and I'm actually going to be going for a run in a second. I don't know. I'm probably going to do like five miles, I think. Probably be gone for about like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Do a little before and after spin. So this will be before. Today is November 20th. All right, just finished my run, did five miles. I gotta say, running without headphones on is a whole nother beast, but it gives you a lot of time to think. It puts you in that low state of mind where you're just with yourself. It's harder to keep on going at the pace you wanna go and keep pushing through the hard things, but I think it makes you harder. <sighs> All right, back to the video. All right, y'all, so Luca <laughs> woke up around 12 o'clock last night while recording. And now it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon today and he's taking a nap because he stayed up till about 2 a.m. last night. But let's jump back into it. Over the past 12 weeks, I learned a lot. Number one, I learned that you truly need to track your calories to be able to lose weight. And at the same time, you have to be consistent with it. And not only that, you have to be consistent with working out as well. Because without both of them, you're probably not going to get consistent results. I learned how to make all of this happen while being a dad. For example, figuring out that when I wanted to work out, it wasn't just about focusing on the weekend. I had to make time for it during the week. And instead of finding time to do long hypertrophy workouts, which was my goal at the beginning, finding time to do 10 minute, 15 minute quick workouts every other day or a couple days in a row and then a day off. And then on the weekends, going for longer runs and enjoying my time, but also making sure to stay present when being with my family. Yummy. And there's a lot that I learned over those past 12 weeks, and there was a lot of success. But at the same time, there were a lot of setbacks. Here's the thing. When you're trying to do something new, and you're in a new phase of life, it's more difficult than you're truly going to expect it to be. I thought me losing weight was going to be just as easy as when I did it when I was in high school. Heck no. It's much harder when you're a parent, and you have a whole other human being you have to take care of, plus taking care of your wife and making sure she's eating food, and then two cats that I have to make sure are being taken care of, played with, fed. And with all that going on, I was struggling to pay attention to myself. I would try to find time to fit in my workout or fit in eating well, which then caused me to binge food on my cheat days. And then on my workouts, I would cut it short. I wouldn't fully be present, and I would just half-ass it. And that half-assing turned into being like, oh, I'll work out five times this week. And then the next week, maybe two times. And the week after, oops, didn't work out at all. There was a lot of inconsistency that happened, but it was a learning process. And it was 12 weeks. A lot of other people would have given up right now, but not us here at this channel. We know that to have success, we must have failures. And sometimes failures are abundant because you have to have a lot of lessons that you need to learn to be able to achieve something great. And I want to get a six pack, y'all. This ain't a six pack yet. 
but it's coming. Now I say this six pack is definitely coming because no matter what, I've learned the biggest lesson that any person can learn from failure. And that is that consistency is key. I need to consistently track my calories. I need to consistently work out. I need to consistently eat well. I need to consistently be with my family, consistently take care of myself. Consistency is key. Without consistency, the six pack is never gonna happen. And this week, I've been very consistent. Which it's perfect that I've been very consistent this week because it's the first week of the 10 weeks that I need to achieve getting a six pack. And it's only gonna be achievable by a few things. Number one, the goal is, like I said, to lose one to two pounds a week. And to do that, I need to be consistently eating well. That means no more cheat weekends. That means this Thanksgiving, I cannot go over my caloric deficit. I can only eat 2,100 calories. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna consistently just eat protein and vegetables. All those carbs can stay away. On top of that, I'm gonna make sure that I stay consistent with tracking my calories accurately. Anytime I'm snacking, it's going in there. I eat three pretzels, three pretzels gets logged. I drink a beer, a beer gets logged. I eat a candy bar, that candy bar gets logged. No more, oh, it was just a little schnibble, it doesn't really matter. It has to be logged so that I can stay consistent. And when it comes to workouts, I need to work out five times a week. It doesn't matter how long it is, it just matters that I get it done. It means that I need to make sure that I'm running at least once a week because I wanna do a marathon next year. It means that I need to make sure I'm doing core workouts at least once or twice a week. I need to be doing body weight workouts and knowing this is gonna make sure that I stay consistent because on the days that I'm like, do I have time to work out? Well, just pull up a 10 minute bully juice workout and hit it. Usually after starting that workout, I'm like, I have another 10 minutes, I can hit another one. So staying consistent to sticking to five workouts a week is gonna be key to getting this six pack in 10 more weeks. Now as the holidays roll around because hey, the end of the year are the big eating holidays. I need to make sure that the consistency is on another level. That means that temptation of all that good food is gonna test me. Will I fail? Maybe. Will I succeed? Maybe. No matter what, I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna be honest about it and I'm gonna track it. Now holidays come every single year and last year, man, holid... Was this in there? Yeah, that's warm. And last year, my holiday season was filled with eating as much food as possible, just consuming like a monster, a ravenous monster that hadn't eaten for days, even though I had just eaten before I got to that holiday celebration. But that can't happen this year because last year when I did it, I gained a lot of weight and that weight was not fun. I went from being a good weight around like 205 to then gaining all the way up to 220, the heaviest I've ever been in a long time. Heck, it's where I started 12 weeks ago. This morning I weighed in at 2.15 and I don't wanna come back from this holiday season being more than what I just started at on this first week of my 10 week challenge. So to make sure that this doesn't happen, I need to make sure I'm conversing more at these holidays. I need to make sure I'm experiencing more. I'm playing with Luca more, especially now that he's gonna be running around. Honestly, the more I'm gonna interact with people, the less I'm probably gonna eat. And that's just a tip that if you want to take it, take it. Because a lot of people, damn, damn, that shit stuck in there. What the fuck? A lot of people struggle on holiday seasons with eating too much food, even though they know they don't want to be eating as much as they are eating. There's so much good food around that you just feel the urge to do it. And it's not a bad thing if your goal is to eat as much as possible. But if your goal is to not eat as much as possible, I'd say one of the things to try is to interact with people more, talk with them more, because the more your mouth is moving, the less you're gonna be able to chew, the less you're gonna be able to eat, the less you're gonna be able to consume. But enough about the holidays. We all know those are hard. There's more to a weight loss journey than navigating the holidays. Everything always comes down to how bad you want it. And if you can't hold yourself accountable during a couple celebrations, or a weekend where you're surrounded by good food and your goal is to lose weight, then you probably don't deserve it. You probably don't want it hard enough if you're not sticking to your plan. Now you're probably thinking, Fabio, what do you mean? You don't have a six pack yet. Yeah, I know I don't have a six pack yet. Well then, how are you gonna tell us about not wanting it hard enough? not wanting it enough that you're not gonna be able to withstand the temptations of going out and having a lot of food around you to lose weight. Honestly, 
I didn't want it hard enough. I just had a goal of, yeah, I want a six pack. But the closer I got to it and the failures that I had, the more of a yearning that I wanted to have this six pack again. I wanted to have my health back. I wanted to achieve the goal that I thought was there, but now I know is there. It took failure to realize how bad I truly want it. And when you want something bad enough, you evaluate what you've been failing at and what you need to change in your life to be more consistent with. With me, I need to be more consistent with eating well. I need to be more consistent with working out and be consistent with being a role model to my family as a whole. That even means to my cats, which this little guy's about to walk in here. Come here, Phil. You need a pet. You need a pet. Oh. One thing I realized during this was I wasn't being consistent with showing them enough love. I wasn't being consistent with being a role model to Luca on working out. I was making excuses. It's all about consistency. And if you're struggling with a goal right now, just know the success is on the other side of how consistent you are willing to be. So be honest with yourself. What have you been failing at? I told you I was failing at, on my cheat days, I was failing on my workouts, I was failing at being present, I was failing at being consistent. What have you been doing that's keeping you from achieving your goal? Because we all have goals. And I wanna hear what your goal is down in the comments below. Let's hold each other accountable. And I want you to hold me accountable. That's why over these next 10 weeks, I'm gonna be giving you my weekly updates just like I was before, but they're gonna be more consistent with having consistent results. I'm going to be losing that one to two pounds a week. I will be working out five days a week and I will be present with my family and achieving everything I would love of a six pack because this thing needs to go. And it's time to stop looking back and start moving forward to achieve this goal of getting a six pack. So if you're trying to achieve any goal in your life or you're looking for an accountability partner in general, you're at the right channel. You have two brothers here striving to achieve two different goals. Marco's out here trying to become rich by 30, and I just want to get a six-pack again currently. But no matter what, we're always going to be looking to strive for new goals and achieve them. So subscribe to the channel if you truly want to make something of your life. Come on, y'all. You know I got to hit you with the awkward ending. I got two freaking light bulbs now, y'all. Two light bulbs. Let's go. I went to Target, bought some light bulbs. We got them installed, and it's a little brighter down here now. It's warm lighting, so it feels nice and good. It's not too intense. So we'll see how I like it. Might switch it out for some cool lighting later, but I got a light bulb.